Hey guys, this is Ryan again. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video. I figure I'd uh, post a couple videos to get started and see if anybody actually watched them, get some feedback. Uh, seems like gotten a couple pieces of feedback. Uh, not a lot, but uh, enough to, to kind of keep going with this and show you some of the things I've learned. Uh, so now what I want to introduce is the concept of barreling. If you've ever heard of it, um, it's kind of a, a simple topic, but some people just don't, don't really get it. Um, Get why it's used and so um, if we take a look at my visual studio on a real project I'm working on uh, you can see clearly how we can end up cleaning up our code so right now what we're looking at is we're looking at a department module that I have for a fire department website I'm working on and it's pretty simple it only has a couple components doesn't have any directives or services or anything like that but if you look we have four components in here into our module and so what we have to do is we have to write uh, import statement for each and every component and do all of its pathing and stuff. So one of the ways that we can clean up these imports and make it so that we can move our folder of components around uh, is something called barreling. So in TypeScript what you could do is in this components folder we can add an index.ts file and if you name it index.ts it will automatically get picked up as your barrel. I'm not sure how to change the the, the name of this file um, and have it picked up so I'm just using the default. Uh, it doesn't meet my naming convention because it's lowercase i, but it's not the end of the world. So anyways, what this index.ts file does is it exports everything else that's in this components folder. So it has the reference for each file in my components folder. So that way, if I rename one of the members to users or something like that, then I can come back in here and just rename it in this, in this index and it gets trickled down and picked up through the module. So essentially what this is, it's, it's kind of like um, a table of contents or a card catalog. Uh, it just re-exports everything else that's in here. Um, to take that step further, um, we could do that in each individual folder. So if I had a folder full of directives, a folder full of services, and so on and so forth in this module, I would put an index.ts file in each one of those, reference each individual file in, in, inside that index.ts. Then inside of the department folder, which hosts my module itself, I'd have another index.ts. Now what this does is it's going to export everything from my components. So this dot dash components is going to automatically reference that index.ts in my components folder. So it's going to re-export everything that's exported in this file. Then at the end of this, I'm going to also export everything from this module. So if I go into this department module um, and it exports this router module, that's going to be exported automatically by, by this index.ts at the same level. Now, one of the caveats with this is that you want to export everything from the module last. The reason is because the module also imports a lot of things. So if the it's going to come into this catch-22 circle where if it's trying to import something and then it goes into this index.ts and looks for it and it's, and it's saying, oh, well, the module it's exporting that and then it goes in that module and it's importing it and it's exporting it and it just keeps going around and around chasing its own tail because there's, there's no outside reference to wherever that, that file is located. So now that we have our index.ts set up at each individual piece of our hierarchy, um, it just keeps rolling into this bigger and bigger snowball. So now all we have to do is, is reference this index.ts in our module and we'll call it a barrel. So I can get rid of these and I can just say import star as barrel from dot. So that means that it's going to look in the current folder of the mod module, it's going to pick up this index.ts by default, and it's going to import everything from it. So, and then we're going to give it a name, barrel, as an alias. So what this does is it namespaces all, each one of those imports from this, uh, this index.ts file. So now if I want to reference this department component, all I have to do is qualify it with barrel dot, it gets picked up, and then if I come down here and do that for each one of these, then what this means is now I don't have to mess anymore with with any imports. Um, if I add a new file to a component, then I'll have to put a new export in here, and then I'll go into my module and it'll automatically get picked up and I can add it to my declarations list. Um, if I move uh, this components um, folder around, 
then the index.ts will maintain at least items inside of that. So all I'll have to do is just change the index.ts for this department folder and so on and so forth. So if you're working with individual files, you'll still have to maintain the, the index.ts file, but you, that's all you'll have to maintain. Uh, at least what it gives you is the ability to move folders around and stuff. So uh, if I wanted to move this this components folder into a, another sub uh, another module folder up here, uh, I could just copy and paste that stuff over, and it will be very little changes for for taking effect. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm just uh, going through my modules and using the barrels. Uh, hope you guys like it. Hope it helps you out. If you have any questions. Um, you know, let me know. I, I will end with just a, another comment. Um, sometimes what we do is we have a module that uh, imports things from another module. And so, okay, so what do we do for that? Um, sometimes what I like to do for that is I like to add a references file. So I can come in here and I can type something like um, references.ts and inside that references.ts um, I can export something from somewhere else so I can export star from let's uh, take this example so this controls module right here is something that's not used by itself but it's imported in all these other modules so what I can do is I can just uh, export star from um, modules controls And then in my department module, if I wanted to uh, import that, I could just, uh, instead of doing the modules, controls, control module, I can do um, import star as dependencies from references. So now, um, this controls module, I can just get rid of that here. And this should break right here. Not sure why it's not, but uh, I might have to qualify this with the uh, dependencies. Yeah, there it goes. Dependencies dot controls module. And what this means is this is just another barrel. Uh, I call it reference because it reference because just kind of like uh, with your Visual Studio project, you have your dependency references um, in here. Uh, you usually add stuff like that by going to add reference. So typically these are references. So I usually name um, anything that references something outside of the module um, references. And now I know that anytime I move this controls module around, all I have to do is come in and change um, the file path in my references folder and I don't have to go in and actually touch the modules. So uh, I'm going to do this again with uh, services because I have a folder with my API service out here. And so um, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.